Hello FPL managers, karibu kwenye another pod and video kutoka FPL Tanzania. Ni mimi your host mkali nikiwa pamoja na Eric. Leo tutafanya preview wa game week 23. Tutazungumzia topics kadhaa wiki kama Manchester City asset kina KDB. Uh, Tutacheki wachezaji wa Aston Villa. Hasa ukizingatia kuna rumors kuwa wanaweza wakapata double game week. <laughs> Inga double game week zimekuwa trap Eric sasa hivi. Should we talk about Bruno and Manchester United assets? usisahau kutakuwa kuna zile favorite segments za players ambao wana wana fly under the radar pamoja na uh, captain pick for this game week. Game week 22 haijaisha. Strange tuna couple of fixtures ambazo bado zinaendelea sasa hivi. Lakini how is it going for you so far? Ah, uh, kude boss. Manake game week hii ni either una una Fernandez au una Fernandez hadi sasa hivi nina Red Arrow nyingine ndogo ndio mm-hmm. wake na Red Arrow ndogo bado wachezaji wamebaki kidogo yeah, okay. kwa hiyo pointing up in so far uh, na point albeni na tatu yeah, kwa sababu iko above average na. average ni 32 hapa naangalia wewe una yeah. bena tatu yani msimu huu yani ni <laughs> unaenda juu na shachini enda juu na shuka chini basi wiki iliyopita wiki hii sasa niko kwenye uh, so hopefully nitapata moment yeah. na, nataka nipate yeah, moment i hope so too yeah. uh, mimi upande wangu Not so bad kabisa na 51 points so far na wachezaji watano bado hawajacheza a little green arrow from 250k to 240k kwa oh, bado niko pale pale yani sijaweza ku break into top 100k so uh, it's not frustrating but yeah bado tuna game weeks kadhaa kabla hatujaendelea na kwa wewe unatuangalia au unatusikiliza unafurahia mazungumzo yetu ningependa kupata more FPL tips kila wiki kusaidia kuimprove na ku gain ranks kwenye mini league please tunakuomba usubscribe to our channel tungependa kufikisha subscribers kama 150 mpaka mwisho wa mwezi huu kwa hiyo please we need your support tunahitaji msaada wako and thank you very much uh, Manchester City wana fixture nzuri au ni muda mzuri sana kuleta Manchester City asset. Wala umoja au mbili. Ingawa wengi wetu tayari tunaye Cancelo. I would be surprised kama kuna mtu ana Cancelo. Kwa nae tuangalia YouTube hapo kuna graphics ya Kevin De Bruyne ikionyesha stats zake kuanzia game week 15 mpaka 22. Basically kuanzia December mpaka sasa hivi. Kimsingi Kevin De Bruyne he is more of nailed choice. So you can see from the from his stats ana yeah. shots 23 over toka ile December mpaka sasa hivi shots 23 on target ana 9 uh, from xg ya 1.548 na ana amefunga mag, magoli manne kwa hiyo expected goals zake ilikuwa ndogo kidogo lakini goals ne, expected assists ni 2.3 na ana assist moja na ana very good fixtures at least the next three fixtures ana Southampton away uh, wana Brentford na home na Norwich away so what about other options the city eric Uh, yeah so other options kuna Foden ambao mm. ndo my favorites tunaka siku anakuaga na bahati mbaya mara hopi ni mara sijui but na kuchina siku nzima anamsikiliza monize huyo ni options nzuri ambao mimi ninaona yani kama fantasy ana rival KDB kwa hiyo kama una hela nyingi alafu una let's say una subiria sala alafu vile vile na Ronaldo Foden ni very good option. Ah uh, opening yao umeongelea hapo ya hii inaongelea kwa sababu ana mechi nzuri zinafaa ana mechi mm. kama manne hivi tano nzuri. Nyingine ni Sterling lakini tazizo Sterling ni ni option lakini asimweke yani sana sana kwenye kumfikiria kwa sababu ya hela na cost. Yaani hiyo hela kama una una, una hela kutumia kwa Sterling ni bora tu mm. kuongezwa kutumia kwa KDB. Option kwa midfielders kwa Man City mimi nasema ni wako wili telling and kwepo kama ilake ngikuwa ndogo lakini kwa sababu ilake so ndogo afu is not nailed on kuwa na mtu ana cost 10 million afu anakaa benchi itakuwa yani ni ukotezaji wa hata mimi wakati unafanya comparison ya Sterling na De Bruyne na ipo hapo kwa mtu anayetuangalia YouTube ah Sterling toka December amecheza mechi sita jamaa kikaa bench ndo anakaa bench 0.0 minutes kwa ana six appearance ana shots 17 on target 11 expected goals 4 na amefunga magoli matano. Kwa hiyo he's putting a, a good numbers, good stats compared to Kevin De Bruyne. Uh, reason why I cho- oh I chose KDB kwa sababu bado naye na ningeshauri mtu aende kwa KDB kwa sababu tu anacheza dakika 90 most likely and then ni placeholder nzuri kwa Salah. Kuna mtaji kule ambao tutaongelea kwenye under the ladder, labda tutaongelea just in case utaki kumchukua 
a KDB KDB au unataka kumchukua Sterling au unataka mambo ya sub ya sub sub za Foden kuna option nyingine ambayo iko kwenye under the radar make sure you stick with us mpaka mwisho utajua hiyo option ya tatu kutoka Man City sasa ndugu yangu tuanze kumleta Fernandez jamaa akapiga goli mbili kwanza mimi nianze kwanza kuwapongeza wote <laughs> walio cha kumleta Fernandez wiki ilikuwa ni calculated risk nzuri na hiyo imechangiwa na mambo mengi sasa mm. ile kuwailishwa ime, imebadili yani ilisha mpango mm. yote hiyo ama um, watu tu uh, mimi nilikuwa na mpango wa kumleta Madison wiki lakini mechi yao ilivailishwa nikaage ili kumleta Madison kwa mm. hiyo nikaja kutofanya transfer ya midfield yote afu kitu kingine ni kwamba watu walikuwa na son kwa hiyo akamleta Fernando sababu walikuwa na son kwa hiyo ikawa easier yeah. kufanya tu transfer moja ile hata kama kafika na point 14 lakini kafunga magoli mbili kwenye shots mbili hilo goli la kwanza lenyewe mm. goli yake ilikuwa 0.01 yeah. yani ilikuwa ni goli baba yani ilikuwa na goli kitika tu da afu nzuri kwa kupata return dakika ya tano tu ushajua ndani yako hotel kwa transfer kwa ali pata kwa hiyo ongelo kwa walio mnunua Fernandez lakini watu wengi nadhani walio mnunua Fernandez nadhani kama wamemnunua kwa kaina yake nadhani wamemnunua tu kwa mechi moja au mbili afu atabofu yaani hapa ma placeholder wa sala vile vile kama hujamleta Fernandez kabla ya mechi si shauri umlete yani kwa sababu si dhani kama yani uh, ile hela once uh, Ronaldo akirudi hii mechi ya vile yenyewe Ronaldo cheza mpo yule kocha katudanganya nataambia mm. Ronaldo iko fit Ronaldo sidhani kama angekuwa na, na influence kama aliyokuwa nayo kwenye hii mechi kama Ronaldo yeah. hapo kwenye start sheet tumeweka hapo Ronaldo versus Bruno you could see from game week 15 mpaka 22 yeah. wote wana five appearances ila unaweza ukaona short volume ya Ronaldo as because jamaa yuko central and unajua shoot on site ana shots 19 five shots on target expected goals 2.8 uh, na wote wana magoli mawili mawili again kudos to those who have bruno na walio captain bruno bado wanakienua vibaya sana uh, game week hapa lakini pia nisiwakatishe moyo kwa sababu manchester wenyewe ukitoa mechi inayofuata game week 23 wanacheza na West Ham uh, watakuwa na wana fixture nzuri baada hapo wanacheza na Bali ambao iko depleted ina matatizo mengi uh, pia wanacheza na Southampton ningependa ku highlight zaidi stats za Cristiano Ronaldo naona kwamba with the Cristiano Ronaldo he has a upper hand in terms of expected goals yuko zaidi ya Bruno um, na tunajua akianza yeah. lazima anakuwa central na he's on penalties right now again maybe one thing ambacho nafikiria binafsi and this is me uh, being biased na kuangalia timu yangu inavyokwenda kama Cristiano Ronaldo atazingua in the next easy three fixtures kuanzia game week ya 23 mpaka 25 uh, most likely naweza nikamuuza nitafikiria kumdowngrade ili ni muweze ku accommodate sala and i keep kevin de bruyne kwa manchester united kuna a lot of figuring out right now wame test ile 4222 haija work out sasa hivi wamebadilisha formation and the reason that i was hesitant kumleta uh, kumleta bruno that's me now i can ship him out downgrade to watkins and then have funds za kumleta sala atakaporudi and then i have kdb plus sala so yeah that's about it i would say um hebu tuzungumzie a very prospect team sio kwamba ina point za kutosha sio kwamba it's a free scoring team uh, actually wame, wamefunga magoli 27 kutoka msimu umeanza which is half of the goals that man city have scored we consider aston villa mm. aston villa nimeangalia mechi yao na manchester kuna vitu vingi ambavyo nime notice. Kuna kitu cha kwanza wale majamaa mm. walikuwa wanamtafuta sana Dinye. Kwa hiyo mimi mchezaji ambaye yuko kwenye watch list yangu ni Dinye. Na shot moja alipiga yeah. ya kazuia na jamaa anapanda sana mbele. Na hiyo tulikuwa tunategemea kutokana na Steven Gerrard anapenda sana yeah. mabeki wake wa pembeni. Kwa hiyo Dinye is a very good asset going forward But especially kianza kupata hizi double game weeks. Nitasema kwamba Dinye ni wale watu wa kuwaleta kwenye timu yao. Cash Nadhani yani wana, watakuwa natumia sana upande wa Dinye kwa hiyo mm. inakuwa hizo between Dinye au Cash kwa hiyo mimi I'm going kwa Dinye kwa sababu anakuwa 
Costella mm. ile ile pale. Bidiana 01. Mchezaji mwingine mm. ni Coutinho. Hataji introduction. Tunataka so, umeona jamaa anapenda sana kuingia katikati. Ni wale wachezaji wao ni mbe, ni midfield lakini anaingia katikati anaanga kwa Aston Villa is perfect kwa sababu yule Watkins nyingine mm. akai katikati alafu Steven Gerrard anaonekana kama anamtafutia anamtafutia sababu mm. Ings amweke benchi siyo <laughs> knock the gari kwa anamtafutia sababu ili anaonyesha kwamba mm. nimekupa nafasi kujicheza jicho lakini kila saa akipata na chance tu kumweka sub bench anamweka bench hiyo ndo options zangu mbili na yule dogo yule Ramsey yeah. na mwenyewe tutamwongelea baadaye lakini Watkins Mm. Sasa mimi sio option. Hadi aanze kucheza mwenyewe. Akicheza na Ings mm. si okay. gani kama ni FPL asset. Nimemwona nyingi sana. Akicheza na Ings kila saa anabolonga. Ana, ana Akicheza mwenyewe anacheza vizuri. Kwa hiyo ni hakikishie kwamba Ings anakaa bench ndio Watkins na Blade. Lakini kwa sasa hivi hizo asset za nini za okay. Aston Villa I think they are worth it. Upande wangu naisi I'm favoring cash zaidi kuliko dinner. Cash kwanza ah, okay. ni mwenyeji is pretty much nailed na sidhani kama ule upande wake una ana competition sana dinye bado na ile he's somehow trap <laughs> and he has been frustrating for uh, for a very long time especially huu msimu kwa sababu dinye ni mchezaji machachari unaona ambaye hajarudisha a lot of FPL points so I'm a bit hesitant kwenda na Dinye. If I'm going for defender, I would go for Cash. Kwa timu nzima Aston Villa kuna a lot of options. Sasa hivi wana Coutinho, wamemleta Dinye, midfielders ambao wako exciting na kama hii double game week itakuwa confirmed ambao they are most likely kucheza na Leeds na Burnley. So it's worth bringing in at least two of Villa assets. Tatizo la Villa they cannot keep clean sheet. Naona? No, Uh, jamaa they can't uh, yeah, game week ya 20 yeah. ngapi tunaongelea 23 na they've only kept five clean sheets toka msimu umeanza so again for me kuna couple of assets i'm monitoring sana sana cash if i'm to bring anyone uh, cash pale kwenye midfielder too bad i have one midfielder ambaye is a constant one pointer <laughs> david luiz yupo kama bench fodder wangu kwa hiyo if i want to <laughs> triple up itabidi ni ni muuze wao jamaa but again watch out aston villa ni one of the teams ambao wana fixture run nzuri sana from game week 23 na potentially as i said wana double game week kwa kama double game week itakuwa confirmed then you'd consider maybe you can sell antonio and then bring in watkins au uh, unaweza kamuza your cheap midfielder ukamleta Coutinho if you're maverick enough your risk taker uh, but for me cash ndo number moja at least nailed on uh, sitegemei clean sheet lakini nategemea more of attacking dinye na hofia bado for me looks a, a trap so that that's about it i would say for this game week 23 topics let's go to our favorite segment under the rider. Mchezaji wa kwanza kwa kwenye ni Jacob Ramsey. Yeah, ndugu yake ndio anaitwa Aaron eh. Ni ana two double digit power ndani ya four game weeks. Ana pia hapo ana ya 20 ya 18 sijui alipata na yeye point 10 hasa. Ana cost 4.6. Kwa kama nina transform ya bure bure nadhani ndio yeye ndamweka tu pale high bench especially ukizingatia matches zinapokuwa zinaelishwa hivi kuna nyingine wanahitaji mchezaji kutoka bench unaweza ukamweka yeye akawa kama namba mbili au namba moja kwenye sub pale angia siku hiyo siku kuta amefunga goli au ni tushaona jamaa mm-hmm. afunga magoli kama matatu msimu huu nadhani kwa hiyo he gets score goals after the guy had so much hype coming up kwa hiyo is living up to the hype ha namba mbili we go for la pote leo kwenye episode hii i'm all about manchester city assets huyu jamaa ni Mr Consistent in Man City yeah. defense kakosa game moja tu toka um, alivoanza kuwa available toka mwanzo wa msimu e, uzuri ni kwamba hata ukiangalia in terms of threat uh, creativity amemzidi kidogo Diaz so wote wote wana magoli mawili msimu huu yeah. na ukiangalia <laughs> fun fact or at least okay this is not fun fact but the fact is jamaa na pointi sawa na Cancelo since December Kis Cancelo yuko kwenye uh, kwenye unajua everybody's squad 
lakini from game week 15 up to now they've scored similar points so he's a very good shout if you are out there kama wewe pia Eric unarudi gabado you you're looking to sell and invest in the yeah. best mid, uh, I mean best defender Laporte I would go and I think at our ownership yake ni ndogo haven't confirmed but ownership ndogo clean sheet hapa ndo nyumbani kwao hapo kwa Man City attacking return nimekwambia threat anayo so he's a very good shout muongelee ujamaa wako ambaye amepata ngekewa kupiga trick wa wa the Hudson ambaye ana ana nini and yupo yeye kwenye team nini team form of a fixture nake chama cha team form of a fixture favor walikuwa wanafungua excel wanatuonyesha jamaa hajafunga goal msimu mzima au kilo staff kafunga wiki ya trick hata vina wa lakini anyways ana magoli manne ndani ya two game weeks na since december is of performing kwa sababu ana goal ya 1.87 na magoli manne na cost ya ndogo kuliko Rafinha na cost 5.5 i think 5.6 Rafinha na cost 6.7 bado i will still go with Rafinha sababu kinyo kiangalia ile mechi aligonga mwamba alikuwa na expected assist 0.8 say it was deserving lakini Rafinha bado ni tarehe zao lakini uh, ukiwa una hela ya kumafford Rafinha au una na Rafinha na unataka kudouble up uh, a very good option na yeah. mkumbuke sababu assist on ilimchafua uh, Rafinha baada yake akanimaliza <laughs> ranking ah ni <laughs> jamaa alikuwa na perform kila kitu kwa Rafinha acha perform yani ilimaliza ranking kwa hiyo anaweza kaenda tena kwenye kwenye nini yeah. kwenye labda alikuwa anajitafuni msimu mzima au kwa sababu hivi ndo akarudi kwa hiyo ni mtu wa ku keep very very close like kwa sababu anaweza kaenda mechi ya Sabat au nani anaenda kwa kwenye form kama ni mchezaji kama Madison mm. Fran hivi unajua yeah. anafunga 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 kwa hiyo ni mtu wa um, keep very very close like sasa hivi leads mm. uh, kikosi chao jeruwa wa Bamford kian rudi kwa hiyo uh, wanaweza kuwa ni very good team. Alafu vile vile wanaweza kuwa na dawa. I wanted to yeah. add that kwamba Harrison sawa wamekuwa wakipoteana toka msimu unaanza yeah. lakini watu waliocheza FPL msimu uliopita tunajua kabisa mambo aliyofanya Harrison. Na hata kipindi tunaingia kwenye msimu yeah, huu hapa ilikuwa ni 50-50 decision either wende Rafinha au wende Harrison kwa sababu namba za Harrison kwa minutes played zilikuwa very high compared na Rafinha. Na hata sasa hivi msimu huu Rafinha ame return lakini amekuwa uh, tuseme kwenye non non penalty expected goals definitely Harrison atakuwa yuko juu sababu Rafinha amepatapata zile goals za penalty. Yeah. Na hivi Bamford anarudi. So yeah, it's a very good shout probably unaweza kai catch train Of course sio kila siku atafunga magoli matatu but it's he returns a 8 7 pointers hopefully anaweza akapata na umegusia ku potential kupata double game week i think we have exhausted our under the radar and now we go to captain picks okay kwenye captain pick uh, wiki uh, arsenal anacheza na bali kwa hiyo t- definitely mchezaji wa Arsenal ni good pick kwa captain pick wiki. Kwa hiyo unaweza kwenda kwa Saka, Martinelli au Lacazette. Tungeweza kuweka yote yule lakini mimi tunaenda na Saka na ni kama ndo talisman wao. Ukiangalia ile mechi ya Man City kwa na nyinyi ndo wanamtafuta kila saa. Alafu jamaa yuko kwenye form anajiamini. Kwa hiyo Saka ndio na bona captain pick. Uh, unaweza ukaenda vile vile kwa Matianeli kama una sasa vile vile ukaweka Matianeli lakini Matianeli kitu kimoja ambacho sikimpendi ni kwamba ameonyesha kwamba sio ana concentration au nini lakini anakosa magoli yani ya jimalaisi malaisi sana yani kakosa magoli mawili ile mechi ya Madrid ambayo nadhani kama angekuwa na experience angeweza kufunga I have KDB on my team and he's a serious captain contender tumeshamuongelea sana sidhani kama itaji kurudia KDB is a very good shout au kama una mchezaji yote wa City you can consider kum captain uh, for us KDB ana ana take the armband and lastly Dennis na King versus Norwich man ebu ebu niambie 
what is happening with Watford because the match about to liangalia kwanza yule dogo aliyefunga ile equalizer anaitwa nani yule dogo yule Brazil yule oh, yeah we want Pedro dogo si ndo nguchoyo au ni experience i don't know yani pale ile front three ilikuwa inaonekana kama ni chaos au labda kwa sababu ni mimi ni Dennis owner very sad uh, Dennis alikuwa very wide yuko yeah. deep uh, not so involved kule mbele kwa hiyo ndio maana kwenye graphics nimemweka king i would very much say Dennis is a captain shout lakini kwa yeah. mechi ya kwanza ambayo nimecheki ile Watford versus Newcastle uh, i wasn't too convinced na Dennis positions so talk about king kwa sababu wewe king umemleta bila shaka yeah nimemleta king na sababu ya kumleta king ni kwamba tu uh, kwanza anapiga penalty kwa hiyo in just in case wakipata penalty king ya penalty mm. yo ilikuwa ni very big thing hapo mm. vile vile namba zao king yuko kama sawa sawa na namba zake namba zake nimesahau lakini ziko kama sawa yani ana expect expect goal matano au fana goal matano yani ndio vile wakati huyu Dennis ana expect goal ya magoli mawili au wakati ana magoli sita sijui yani is way over performing wale yani bado yani on good day yani yoyote anaweza kumpita yoyote wako yani very close ndio maana mimi nikaishia tu kumchagua king kwa sababu ya penalty kwao ni kama na sasa yo ikitoka king kakatwa kapata penalty atafunga mwenyewe ikitokea Dennis kakatwa kapata penalty atapiga king bado ikitokea siju Pedro au nani kakatwa penalty bado atapiga king kwa hiyo hiyo ndio ilikuwa the only option ya, yani bado nadhani ni bado wako so close sababu yule kocha ameshaonyesha yani siku nyingine anamchezea yeah. Dennis Mbele siku nyingine yeah. anamchezea King Mbele aeleweki i think bado anatafuta ni mfumo ni mzuri kucheza mimi kitu pekee ambacho nikipenda kwenye mechi ya Watford they were very solid defensively probably pale mbele anafanya fanya experiment na yule Brazil na kina King na kina Dennis lakini they, they were seen a bit very solid defensively for the very first time so well, yeah ni exciting na kingine wana wako kwenye relegation battle so you'd expect the only way out ni kufunga na who is better to to score than king or dennis yeah ya na zako kusema mechi itakuwa ngumu lakini expecting all them we need to go for it i think that's about it man we have exhausted the topics at least uh, kwa nyisi tunapoendelea bado game week 22 inaendelea kuna rumors mechi ya Watford na Burnley inaweza ika postponed hapo baadaye who knows ndo muda tunaoishi sasa hivi na FPL FPL imekuwa kama full time job you have to keep updating and make sure una to follow kwenye Instagram na to follow kwenye Twitter we always update whatever is happening in the crazy FPL world Again kama umependa mazungumzo yetu na you like what we are doing here for for the Tanzania FPL community please subscribe to our channel tusaidie tufike walau 150 subs or subscribers mia msini mpaka mwisho wa mwezi huu pia tuna WhatsApp group ambayo ni free to join kule tuna share tunatoa ushauri tunatoa stats tunatoa comparison uh, za vikosi tunafanya squad reviews a lot of love banter and everything fpl kwa hiyo karibu sana link nitaiweka chini hapo kwenye description check out our meet the manager videos kupata kuwasikia one of the best fpl managers kutoka Tanzania yeah eric you have anything to add saa moja nusu kabla ya deadline tunakuaga tuko club house kwa hiyo kama unataka ku join nakuaga ni kila mtu anaongea watu wanauliza ushauri wa dakika za mwisho nini na Yeah, community yeah. ina inakuwa. I think everybody kama ume stick around mpaka sasa hivi kutusikiliza au kutuangalia. Thank you very much and we appreciate so far tuko kwenye 95 subscribers kwenye YouTube. We have over 250 followers kule Twitter. The community is growing. Uh, WhatsApp group tuko over 50. So happy days and we are hoping to reach every FPL manager kutoka Tanzania and East Africa at large thank you very much until next time bye bye